Good morning, everyone. Welcome to itsohollywood.com. I'm Lisa. And I'm Lainey. And we're here very early in the morning, 5 a.m., with our absolutely lovely Mary Murphy for the Emmy Noms. You all know her, veteran TV journalist from TV Guide Network, TV Guide Magazine for ET, everything. ET. What haven't you done, Mary? I haven't. I've done everything. <laughs> Mary Murphy, the mother of TV. Anyway, <laughs> Mother right. Mary. Blessed Mary. Except try to make sense of all these nominations. I know. Oh, who won? Who lost? Who was snubbed? That's what we're going to do right now. We are going to get into it. We're going to start off this morning with comedy series. So here are the ones that got nominated. Yeah. Curb Your Enthusiasm, Glee, Modern Family, Nurse Jackie, The Office, and 30 Rock. What did you think, Mary? Okay, well, first, I'm thrilled that Nurse Jackie was Me nominated. Me too. I love Nurse so, Jackie. So good combination between networks and yeah. cable. But Two and a Half Men didn't get that's nominated. Snubbed. And that's the number one comedy on television. It keeps on trucking. I mean, with all the issues that go on with the behind but the now I heard a show. rumor on the way here I heard that uh, Charlie pulled himself out so I don't know maybe that but you know what's good is that John Cryer was nominated yeah, and the Holland, one last year the one yeah. last year and Helen Taylor who plays their mother we was nominated Helen so she's great on the show yeah she's she great needs to be great no on entourage show. in case you care yep no entourage that just glee went crazy well you know modern family is like one of my favorites I love it and you know what uh, glee got 19 uh, Nominations. I mean, Glee is the you know fair-haired child, and it should be. It is so fantastic. Yeah. Are you Gleek? I'm a Gleek. I'm, I'm a Gleek. We're all three. We're all three. We're all three Gleeks. We love it. I want to dance in the living room. <laughs> when it's on. I want to get up I mean, and who, who dance was, around. Who doing the on that dance? show? I mean, all they had the best guest stars. A lot of Kristen them got nominated. Kristen Chenoweth. Kristen oh Chenoweth. Oh she was Patrick great. Harris, who got a nomination? Yeah. This morning. And we felt like Madonna was on it because they had a whole. Oh yeah. Jane Lynch. Yeah. Um, okay. Let's move on to outstanding drama series. The okay. These are Breaking Bad, Dexter, The Good Wife, Lost, Mad Men. And True Blood. What did you think about that category? Well, I think one more time, it's new and old. I mean, The uh, the Good Wife, which is one of the yeah. best new shows on television. But of course, here's the thing. NCIS, the number one drama on television, one more time, shut out. Mark yeah. Harmon, shut out. Michael Weatherly. The CSI. Cody what do you think that is, CSI. Mary? Why? Why? I think yes. that people, I think that the Academy thinks it's more procedural and not as, as much acting, but the truth is, it's excellent acting. It should be nominated. And excellent and writing, too. Excellent Each writing. Episode. Funny, funny writing. Mark Harmon was one of my first interviews, and I kind of feel bad for you. Mark, I'm sending you He's love. He's had a long run on that show. Yeah. Uh, but House was done. Are you yeah, that? that's surprising. But you, yeah. Laurie, got his. But House, yeah. Yeah, and Mad Men, of course, is one of the best yeah. shows on television. But one more time, you know, it's Cable. True Blood is Cable, and Mad Men is Cable, and Breaking and Bad. And the nomination on its way out. So yeah, that's, that's good. good. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, even though I couldn't understand the loss, I'm still lost. Um, if, you, lost if you didn't watch Lost, don't try because it was way too. Can I just tell you? Did you guys see that moment when the creators were on late night and they said that part of why when they were doing their pitch was that it was an easily understandable script that was self-contained in each and every episode, and they did their pitch. Can you imagine? That's the story they want you to think. Liar, liar, pants are on fire. By the way, speaking of late night, one of the big news, of course, oh, is my. that. Conan O'Brien was nominated for The Tonight Show and not Jay Leno. I think he deserved it. I don't. No, no, no. no I think Jay said. Leno. No. Yeah, I yeah. Think nobody well, nobody wants it. I think Jay Leno Well, I just was. think he got his revenge this morning. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's he did. He did. He this did. Morning. <laughs> I'm, we, I'm, I'm with no, Mary I wonder on that why one. he's Twittering right now. We'll have to go see. <laughs> okay, let's talk about lead actor in a comedy series. The okay. nominees are um, Jane Parsons for The Big Bang Theory. Good, excellent. Mm -hmm. uh, Larry David from Curb Your Enthusiasm. Matthew Morrison from Glee. Monk Tony Shalhoub keeps on coming back. Oh my gosh. Uh, Steve yeah. Carell from The Office and Alec Baldwin from 30 Rock. Yeah. Is he funny? I think uh, that Tony Shalhoub, the ending of Monk, which was so sweet, I really think that they should give it to Tony Shalhoub because he just created this character that was great. Although Matthew Morrison and Glee, and well, like the you have a show. crush on him. I, I have a crush on him. He doesn't have a crush on him. He's, he's, crush on he's him. so crushy. He sings. He yeah. <laughs> he does it all. But uh, Alec Baldwin. He flirts. Was, he flirts. He was <laughs> great on the Tonys. Did you see the Tony Awards? He was great. And Alec Baldwin was won last year, right? Yeah, so. Alec Baldwin won. Yeah. And, he, and he could very easily win because he is stellar yeah. in every single. Yeah, show. he is. And Tina Fey was also nominated uh, from Thirty Rock. 
creator. She's so funny. You know, it's interesting. There were so many great guest stars on 30 Rock this year, too. Who, who and some of them? Well, some, one of them was Matt Damon. Oh, he was, he was, and John Hamm played her, oh, he was her oh boyfriend, God, the doctor. He was great. Yeah, he was great. The perfect boyfriend. Yeah. You wouldn't think that he's got comedic talks, but he actually does. He was, actually, I thought he was almost better as a comic. He's funny. You know, well, playing Draper, you've got to have that funny side. That, yeah. Well, just that goes. And he had the great hair on the, on 30 Rock. Oh, yeah, yeah that kind of like that. You know who was nominated as a guest performer that I thought was fantastic? Bo Bridges, who's a wonderful oh, actor. Yes. Played a transsexual on uh, the closer, and yeah. he was nominated. Yeah, this he morning. Really so good. one of my favorite categories is the lead actor in a drama because I do like men. I have to say. <laughs> Brian Cranston, our buddy, Michael C. Hall, Kyle Chandler, Matthew Fox, John Hamm, Mary, who got snubbed. Kiefer Sutherland. He didn't get a nomination, but I have a pillow. <laughs> so forever, yeah, he'll live. The this is for the finale party. party. Oh, this is from the, this is from the party. <laughs> Jack Bauer. Bill Paxton and Big Love was yeah, uh, uh, Dennis Leary got Dennis, Dennis, Dennis Leary, Leary yeah. yeah. He got yeah. nominated a lot, though. I think the yeah. surprise person in that court category was Kyle Chandler. The, the surprise I mean, person and, 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 the, and Kyle Chandler. Okay, who do you think is your pick? Who's going to get it? Just quickly. Um, well, Brian Cranston got it last year, yeah. so maybe Michael C. Hall. Yeah, yeah. I think it's yeah, I think it's my. Yeah. Oh, the end of that season finale was fantastic. Yeah, no, I'd say. with him. Um, okay. How about Best Actress in a Drama? Yeah, Best Actress. We've got Kira Sedgwick from The Closer, who nominated so many times, never won. Right? Never won. I wish she'd win. Glenn Close from Damages. Mm -hmm. Not Connie Britt not from. Uh, Friday Night Lights, Lights. Yeah. and Juliana Margulies, Ooh, yeah. Yeah. The Good Great. Wife. I have to say, I love The Good Wife. Did, do you guys like that show? I, I do. I think it's one of the best new shows on television, and she is just excellent in the role. I'm sorry that Katie Segal didn't get nominated, because she it, she had a great season. From Sons of Anna, from which Sons of Anna. Um, an amazing role in that. Right. She, she was raped and then she murdered she's and then she's a, yeah. You know, it's interesting. Katie Segal and Ed O'Neill are both on television. They're both born married with children. They've never been nominated. What's for the deal with that? Know, that let's go. So good. I know. Yeah. And you know what? Um, so Sally Field and Holly Hunter. Yeah, the group is usually on that list. Yeah, but this is good. This is a good list. Yeah, I, I like the list. Yeah. I think Juliana should. It's, it's nice to yeah. see new blood get, coming in yeah. and getting nominated. Okay, what do we have next? Comedy. Comedy. Lead right. women. Now moving on to comedy lead actress, we've got Leah Michelle from Glee, Julia Louis Dreyfus from Old Christine. Which has been canceled. Yeah. Uh, Edie Falco from Nurse Jackie. Ooh, I love Yes, there's Jackie Hollis from Parks and Recreation. Yeah. And um, Tony Collette. Collette. Yeah. And Tina Fey. And Tina Fey. The two new ones, of course, yeah. Edie Falco and Amy Poehler. And Edie Falco did the most amazing acting. She went from, you know, a soprano to this dark but light, funny nurse. And she's fantastic. And anybody who hasn't seen Nurse Jackie has to see it. I have eight nurses in my family, and I have to tell you something. When she has those little scrubs on all her little pockets, I'm like, ooh, I know all those tricks of the trade. She just knows how to play. She, those nuances that she does on screen is just so yeah. she's just and, and finally, it, des it deserves, and if the show got nominated, yeah. she got nominated. It's great. Great yeah. So overall, Mary, what did you think? Lots of new blood. I love that. And as the breakdown, the networks, ABC had 63, CBS 57, NBC 48, and HBO 101, mm -hmm. Go Pacific. Still that was great. And it's going to be a really exciting Emmys. And now, I'm looking forward to going back to bed. I'm cheers tired. To that, yeah. Yeah. Cheers to <laughs> We'll see all of you back for the Primetime Emmy Awards uh, on August 29th, early this year. So thanks for tuning in this morning to us on itsohollywood.com. And remember, it's more than just celebrities. It's a lifestyle. Yeah. Come on back. Come on yeah. back. Bye. See you next time.